Today, we are going to be taking a look at everything new in the 0.69 update of Stumble, guys. So, first thing we always do is go to the maps, and as you'll see, we have a brand new Behold the Gold map, which we're hopping right into. And here it is. Okay, so... At first glance, you're going to notice it is a second variation of the D&D &D map that we already have. But you get to pick your class, which is really cool. So if you want to break this barrier, you can activate the axe and then break down the wall. You can also switch emotes at any time or power up whatever you want to call it. My personal favorite is going to be the teleportation. So for our first playthrough, that's what we're going to be using. So as you notice, there's going to be different themes to each different pathway. And then at certain points of the map, it's better to have some power-ups than others. And this wide open space isn't really a big threat unless you're a bot. So uh, we can pretty much skip by this entire thing. There's a bunch of chests. And you can either go left, right, or through the middle. Obviously, we have to play optimally because that's how we play this game. Uh, so we're going to go through the center. And you can actually activate some booby traps. Um, which I don't know if you can greet people behind you because they shoot so fast So you probably just want to avoid them entirely and then again throughout the map There's going to be chances for you to switch your power, but again, we like teleportation So let's keep with that um, and then as you can see here there are <gasps> secret traps Which oh wait, maybe we should have the axe. Is it actually faster? So ooh, that was bad there's obviously going to be different situations where you want to have different things, which is the whole point of this, which I like this way more than the original, if you ask me, just because, one, the original level lasts forever, if you guys have played it, and two, this one allows you to um, get the experience of all four power-ups, because in the first iteration, you kind of had to just wish you got the power-up that you want. This time, you can choose what you, uh, you can choose your path. Wait, how many times can I spam this? Come on. <laughs> this is such a troll. Oh my gosh. Wait, can I teleport through? Oh my god. Okay, so if you're out there and you want to troll people, that is definitely the way to go. And this is the final area to the map. And for the sake of the video, I want to see if we can jump on the boss's head. Because in the first version of the map, you were able to do so. I don't, I don't know if it will be helpful at all, but just for purposes... Yep, you can still do that. <laughs> I don't know if they intended for this, but now you know. Okay, um, the ending to this map is actually super weird. I, I think it's cool, though. What you basically have to do is activate both sides of it, and then only then will the finish line open up. So it kind of resets, and you kind of have to just hope to God that you get to the ending before the person next to you does. There might be an opportunity for you to activate both sides of the door, but I would expect there to be two people at the finish line pretty much every time. So it's going to be a photo finish, which will make it way more intense. Next, we're going to be talking about all the cosmetics. And if you were paying attention, this is a brand new skin called the Sunurai. It's a samurai plus the sun. Pretty much. Uh, but let's scroll through. And since this is the open beta, we're going to be able to see everything. So, we got the Calamity Bill common. Um, which is the first common that I've seen them add ever, I think. Maybe way back when they added one, but I can't remember. We got Carl Curveball. Our first ever baseball skin, I believe. Um, okay, we have the SG logo. Actually, very aesthetically pleasing for an uncommon. We don't get very many uncommons added. I don't think... I think that's the first one ever, actually, uh, since uh, Scopely bought it. Going down, what do we got? Ooh, okay. Scarecrow, I believe, is new. And then we got some Earth Day skins. Sunflower Gal. Um, I like it. And then we got Sir Recycle a lot. Wait, his hand is a plastic bag? And then what's around his wrist? I can't even tell. Then you have a cardboard box as a shoe. Is that bleach? As a helmet, it might be a carton of milk. I'm pretty sure that's bleach, though. Uh, then we got uh, an umbrella. Okay, that's that. I like this one a lot. Moving on to epics, do we got anything new? Okay, we have the symbol monkey. I like how his symbols are smaller than the turn thing behind him. I don't even know what you call this, the turn tile. But uh, dope skin for epic for sure. The idiot sandwich. It's a chef 
and then you have a rubber band between two pieces of bread. Wow. No comment. <laughs> then we have Dr. Silky Fur. What's going on with his hair, bruh? Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Let's move on to legendaries. Also, before I forget, a main portion of this update is a lot of bug patches. So just keep that in mind. I know there's not too much new stuff in this video, but I'm very happy that a lot of the bugs are being patched. But next up, we have the Sunrai, which we showed in game, which honestly is my favorite out of all the skins. The fact that this is a legendary is crazy. Uh, next, we have the sticker guy, which he's just a sticker. It reminds me a lot of the special skin, but it's different enough. Um, ugly drawing. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they do need both of them, but I feel like uh, they're very, very similar. Next, we have the soil mate. More Earth Day. Ooh. I know these are worms, but they look like fingers. Okay, moving on. We have Mr. Bush, which I don't know if it's a coincidence, but there are U.S. presidents with the last name Bush. So it could be that or just a coincidence because, uh, you know, this is probably also for Earth Day. For Mythics, we have the Taurus for the star sign themes that they go for. I have no idea how many we have in game, but it seems like a lot. Uh, but I'm sure they're going to make one for each month. So just keep that in mind. Ooh! Okay, this is my favorite so far. Inflatable Joe. I was gonna say the skins aren't impressing me all that much, but we're gonna have to use this one in game for sure. I'm gonna be able to fake out my competition. <laughs> I wonder how it's gonna look when you move. Uh, we have Saw Blade Sentinel. This one doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because his saw blade in his head moves, but the ones on his fist and his board don't. Um, I think they could have done a bit better with this one. Cool looking, though, for sure. Uh, ooh. How do you even say this? Gaia? Uh, you'll have to correct me in the comments. Probably going to be, like, a final tier or, like, tournament reward for uh, Earth Day or around it. Um, I love this one. It's like a Mother Earth, Mother Nature type beat. Um, that's probably my second favorite. Okay, and that's it for Mythics. Do we have any specials? I didn't see any at first glance. Okay, so no specials, but let's go and check out emotes. <laughs> Wait, the animations look so weird with this skin. Did you guys just see that? Dude, <laughs> his arms don't, they don't bend. Wait, I love that. I don't know if that's intentional though. Okay, so let's scroll through them all. Again, it's going to be kind of hard to determine what is new um, since all of the things are out on the open beta. Um, so I might miss a few things. I don't think there's anything new for rares there. And you know what? I'm now realizing that I can't really show off the animations with the skin. So let me go ahead and switch up the character. Okay. So scrolling down now. Oh, the bees. I do not like bees. I mean, obviously they're good for the environment, but um, actually I don't hate them that bad. I hate mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are the worst. Okay. Faint. Aerial. Ooh, he's majestic with it. Then we got sad kick, which we had before. Board might be new. It looks so weird without a mouth. To be fair, if they did add a mouth to Mr. Stumble, that would look very off-putting. So I can't blame him there. Uh, tree planting? Mm, I think that's new. Maybe they're doing something with like team trees or something. That would be kind of cool. Uh, so no new special emote for anyone wondering. For animations, I will scroll through quickly, but I imagine they're all going to be the same. Oh, home run. Okay. He hits it with one hand? That's kind of swag. Wait, hold on a second. Where does this baseball bat go? Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Uh, watering party, we already have. Chair throw. Oh. Some WWE stuff there. Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> Shout out to Pitbull. Um... Why is the world so small? Okay, going on to footsteps. The last update, we got the wall of fire, which has been my go-to. Can they top it? Let's find out. The earth. Eh, I kind of wish it was like a globe in like 3D. I think we had the honey as well. Maybe not. We have the Paraguay flag. I don't know why it would be at the bottom if it's not new. So 
Shout out to anyone in Paraguay. And for legendaries, I think the only new one that we have here is the bees. So not too many new cosmetics, but with that being said, let's go ahead and hop back into the new map with the inflatable Joe skin. And let's take a look at the different routes you can take on the level. Okay, for the sake of the video, I'm going to play as fast as I can from each path. And you guys will have to let me know which is the best. So we're going to use one class the entire time. So for this game, we're going to use the axe. We did use the teleportation last game, but I feel like I wasn't even trying. So we'll give it another shot as well. If I had to guess, each run is about a minute long. It's not a long map at all. Um, ooh, I definitely did not want to land in there because if you saw to the right there, we had the opportunity to cut down that door. Um, so I almost want to go back. Oh, we have the opportunity to cut this down. Okay, is this better? Why would you want to go this way? Uh, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Huh. Um, maybe you come from the opposite direction over there. But for those that know anything, the fastest way to get to the end is just going to be a straight line. So let's just hold forward. Honestly, not too impressed with the options for the axe. So already by far, teleportation is going to win. Um, but with that being said, since there are going to be the opportunity to pick any class you want, the axe will be good to hit people out of the way, um, especially at the like, final end here. Okay, so obviously next we have the shield, which I could already tell you is probably gonna be the slowest, just because there's no speed advantage to using the shield. And the only positive thing you could really say about it is it'll help you ignore other enemies and obstacles. But as you're seeing right here, it would be much easier to teleport through the balcony. Um, let's take a different approach. So, to the right here, there is going to be some lava. So, maybe, just maybe, using the shield here would be the way to go. Only issue with that is some of these jumps you have to time. Ooh, wait. This obstacle is cool. It's like a Ferris wheel, almost. Okay. To the right here. Oh, you could cut down this bridge. Wait. I almost want to do a whole nother run. Can we go underneath? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Pro strats, pro strats. Can we get there? Oh, wait, that's kind of crazy. Hold on now. Shield might be goaded. Did they think of all this? And you can cut past the boulder if you have shield here. Huh. Huh. Wait, let me look down this way because I saw that there was a, pa a path over here. Okay. What is this? Oh, an arrow wall. Wow. Okay, shield is definitely not as bad as I thought for this map. Um, but I'm still going to definitely say you're going to want to have teleportation for this final stretch here. Because, again, it's probably going to be a 1v1 if you are at this final part, just because you have to press both sides of the door. Um, and I'm guessing it would be faster to slide down than TP through. Hmm. But it also might be valuable to have shield. Just because if someone has axe behind you, they could axe you and then you would die anyway. I don't really know what to expect coming out from the jump ability because it's not gonna speed you up and it's not about surviving on this map. It's all about being the fastest. With the last map, the stumbles and dragons level, that was all about being able to get the furthest distance without respawning basically if you respawn here there's really not too much danger obviously you want to be the fastest still um but i'm gonna probably say jump is not gonna be the way to go that was kind of crazy though can you walk up this chain wait hold on am i cooking no not cooking sorry tiktok lingo is there a secret place i could jump up to i'm looking for it um, because there's been signs for a, a lot of different abilities. Um, does not appear like there's anything for jump. Wait, can you jump over this wall? Oh, I stand corrected. There's probably a lot you could do that I haven't explored. What are the odds you can get up on the wall and just travel the entire thing past the obstacles? 
That... That could work, theoretically. Let me see how jump would play a factor maybe at the finish line. Okay. So, if I'm just going normal, jump over this, that's pretty nice. Oh, I did it wrong. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know, dude. Unless I could jump over the final door, I don't really see there being a reason to use jump. Oh my gosh. Wait, do you guys see the gold flowing out from the actual level? That's kind of weird. Um, okay, jump, at least from what I've seen, is not the play. I would actually rank it the lowest. Let's do one more game with teleportation because I think that's gonna be the best. And then I'll make my final ranking. I cannot see a world where teleportation is not gonna be the fastest. It just gives you the fastest speed. Like, literally. You can jump, dive still, and then teleport. You can't tell me that's not gonna be faster than everything else. And you can even teleport through the banister there. And it helps you avoid things. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna pretty much guarantee this is gonna be the fastest. Even if you get stuck in traps, just to get out of situations, it's so good. Yeah, this is no competition. I know they probably tried to balance this, but just look at how much faster I'm completing it. Okay, yeah. Um, this is kind of what I was afraid of, because I heard that they made a second version of this map, and they allowed you to pick other things, but still, teleportation is the way to go. They probably need to nerf TP, if I'm gonna be honest. They need to either make the cooldown longer, or... I don't know, make it not travel as far? Because, yeah, not even close. Alright, so, uh, we have now decided that TP is the best, but I think the worst is going to actually be jump. Second place, I'm giving it to... I'm saying Axe, if you're playing against people. Um, I haven't 1v1'd anyone on the map, so it's gonna kind of be a toss-up, um, at that, like, final point. And then Shield is actually surprising me. I would put it at a close third. And to close off this video, we're just gonna quickly go over the 0.69 patch notes. I will scroll through the entire thing, just in case you want to slow it down and read it for yourself. But we have the ongoing Dungeons & Dragons collab with the new map, Behold the Gold, the different classes, and there's multiple routes. Um, talks about the mimics. We saw that all in the gameplay. The four different classes, obviously. Um, and then the newest thing that we're going to obviously love is the addition of different tournaments, which, if you notice, there's eight players in this Block Dash Showdown mode, which is going to be so much nicer because if you've played the, the current tournaments for Legendary Block Dash, they last like 20 minutes because people are so uh, sweaty. So that being said, eight players will make it so much more enjoyable. They're going to add a lot of different variations to tournaments now, which is definitely a good thing to avoid the game getting uh, stale. Um, as for the emotes, we saw this all, I believe. Uh, we have the footsteps here, all the stumblers. I believe we were able to take a look at all of the ones we see here. And again, there is no special, which is a first in a while. Uh, victory animations, we have the home run. And this is where it gets really good. Here are all the bug fixes. If you want to pause the video and go over each of them, you can. But the fact that they're making this a priority to list out all the bug fixes and actually take note is very relieving for me because... It could be pretty tilting if you've watched my videos recently. Um, and then same thing with the levels. They fix some of the bugs here. We have matchmaking bugs being fixed. Stumble Workshop being fixed. Um, even friends list being fixed. Prize boxes being fixed. And then if you want to see what's coming for the tournament rewards or the events, you can take a look here with the different dates. These are subject to change, so don't take it completely as fact. Um, and then there's going to be new missions, new wheels, offers, and I believe that is absolutely everything. So that has been the 0.69 update in Stumble, guys. Let me know what you think, and if you made it to this far into the video, comment your username down below, make sure you're subscribed, and have code BABYODA entered in your item shop, and I'll pick one person from the comments to receive 10,000 gems, and I'll pick the winner this coming Saturday. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.